when I first read the script, it was, uh, I, I, don't, I don't mean this in a pejorative way, I mean it in the best way. It was like a little uh, comic book uh, leading me through the understanding of a very thick, um, opaque, difficult subject, which is money laundering, which I didn't understand at all. I don't, uh, I still have a, a tenuous understanding of it. Uh, and and we, probably us too. yes, it's a that's the way that's the way the the fellas uh, arrange it, <laughs> so that that it is um, difficult for people to to ferret out the truth. But uh, yeah, when I first read it, I I was so grateful to Stephen for making it clear, making this worldwide net of collusive activity by the one percent clear how it robs the rest of the, the world and, and contributes to inequity. You expect it to be very dry and a sort of academic kind of telling of it. You know, not 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 that you expect because it's Soderbergh, but you you wonder how's he gonna navigate this particular subject. And then when uh, on reading the script, I thought we were like I think I wrote to Stephen and said it was like some sort of circus and that Antonio and I were like ringleaders. You know, we were like the we would we would come out and, and say, and now, ladies and gentlemen, you know. Uh, so I loved the I, the yes, ex, yeah, and it had it had that tone of um, like Doctor Strange Love. You know, where you take something deadly serious and make it ever so slightly absurd. I think the first thing that I did when I read the script, I think I Google Panama Papers. And after being there for a couple of hours, I came out more confusing, more confused than I was before I opened up those pages. You know, it was very, very confused. But then, you know, came to my mind something that has to do with theater. And it has to do with Bertolt Brecht. And it has to do with actors breaking the fourth wall and talking to the audience. And it had to do with Ubu Rey, uh, for example, which is a force in a way, and an astrakhan, a, a, a satire of power. And uh, so it's very complicated. The artifact is so complicated, you know, that how Stephen, um, you know, uh, managed to expose this thing in an understandable manner. And, and at the same time to, and, uh, you know, laugh about it, not because of gags, as I said before, but because actually it's so <laughs> outrageous. You know, the amount of money, the amount of people, the names in, in, that are implicated. It may happen that many of these people go in front of a judge and they are accused of something that they don't even know what it is. But that is one level. There are, there are so many different levels because you were right, Meryl, before. You know, there are people that they know very well what they are doing. And they are laundering money. And they have, you know, selling weapons. There is a number of uh, uh, things that are done ar ar around this laundry money that actually doesn't imply them. They try to explain that in the movie. They try to defend themselves and saying, we are just, uh, you know, part of the system. It just got to... Too, it, I think it just all got too big, and there was a lot of there was a lot of goings on that they that that, that they they did not. I don't think deliberately turned a blind eye to. I just think that there were things that were that, that they that they stopped watching the shop. <laughs> <laughs>